Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch and today we have some massive Unity news and that is on the security side of things. If you log into the Unity Hub right now and you look at pretty much any version of Unity from the last decade, uh, you're going to have a little warning beside it. You're going to notice in the Hub, security alert. Uh, so applications built with this editor version have a known security issue. Uh, and yeah, you're going to find that uh, for quite a few versions. H how many versions are we talking about? Well, these ones. 2017, uh, all different patches, all different versions, 2018, uh, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, and Unity 6, all the way up to the current version. So yes, basically any version of Unity from 2017 until now has a, it's classified as high risk security issue. Now the issue is actually in the runtime. So we're gonna get into a little bit of detail about what this was all about. If you check your email, there's a good chance that you have this message right now. And they've actually done a very good job on disclosure. This was came to month, a couple months ago, this was reported to them and they fixed it in all of those versions. So all of these versions of Unity have patches available. So what do they have to say? A security vulnerability was identified that affects games and applications built on Unity version 2017.1 and later for Android, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS operating systems. There is no evidence of any exploitation of the vulnerability, nor has there been any impact on users or customers. We have proactively provided fixes that address the vulnerability, and they are all uh, they are already available to all developers. The vulnerability was responsible was responsibly reported by the security researcher, uh, and we thank him for working with us. So, no evidence. Of of any exploitation of the vulnerabilities yet, though that is going to change rapidly now because the vulnerability is now public. Uh, so uh, Unity has worked in close collaboration with our platform partners who have in, uh, taken further steps to secure their platforms and protect end users. Released games or applications using Unity 2017.1 or later for Windows, Android, Mac OS, or Linux may contain this vulnerability. Uh, Unity has released an update for each of the major and minor versions of the Unity editor starting with Unity 2019.1. Uh, and then Unity has released a binary patch to patch already built applications dating back to 2017.1. So the people on the Unity engine build team have definitely been busy lately. Uh, so what actions should you take? So if you're still actively developing your project, so this is an important thing to realize here. This is about the runtime, not Unity itself. So this is any application created using the Unity engine can be exploited using this. So that, that's the key thing to understand here. So uh, if you're still developing your app, basically download to the newest version it will fix it and you're done. So if you are working on a Unity project, literally just download the next version or the version that you're using, update it, uh, and you're good to go. Uh, so if you've got games that are already built, well, here's where it gets trickier. So they highly recommend you download the patch update for your version of the Unity editor, recompile and republish your application. So if you built your application six or seven years ago, you're probably not gonna wanna do that. But at the same time, they have provided a patch tool. So you can patch your Android, Windows and Mac OS apps, um, basically a binary patch. Now the problem with this is that if you use an anti-cheat system, this will flag as a cheat and it won't run. So in that particular scenario, the patch isn't going to work, uh, but it's better than nothing. Uh, and then uh, for Windows or um, Android applications, additional protections are being put into place. So if your Android app is distributed via Google Play or other third-party Android app stores or direct download, um, so their Android's built-in malware scanning is now gonna be aware of this and is going to scan for it. Uh, and then uh, if your application is for Windows, the Windows Defender is getting an update here as well. And at the same time, Valve is adding additional protections for Steam clients. So it's gonna make it a lot harder for this to be exploited. So they've done the groundwork. There's a, probably gonna mitigate most of the damage that could come from this, which is a good thing. And here's the, again, that bad thing. So if you uh, use anti uh, tampering or anti-cheat solutions, the patch version is not going to work for you. You're going to have to rebuild it or it will trip the, uh, the anti-tampering or anti-hacking uh, solutions there. Uh, we have some other platform information as well for Horizon OS. Uh, Meta devices have implemented mitigation, so the vulnerable Unity applications running on Horizon OS cannot be exploited. Uh, for Linux, the vulnerability presents a much lower risk on Linux compared to Android, Windows, and Mac OS. For all other Unity-supported platforms, including iOS, there has been no finding to suggest the vulnerability is exploitable. Oh God, the Apple people are gonna brag even more now. Uh, and for the best protection, we always recommend that you use the latest patch release of the version of Unity you are running. 
Uh, if you are a consumer, uh, no evidence of any exploitation of games. Advise your users to keep their devices and applications updated, enable automatic updates, and maintain current antivirus software, and encourage security best practices, blah, blah, blah. So that is where we are at. Now, interestingly enough, the most interesting thing here, this is the vulnerability report. Uh, that's the one thing they didn't link here. So let's head on over to that now. Uh, and you will find here, this is the description of it. Now, what you're gonna find interesting with this description is this is an exploit found uh, as part of the Meta Bug Bounty Research Conference in 2025, back in May, uh, which was reported to Unity. And you may think, well, it's been that long. Why haven't they fixed this yet? Well, they did. They spent a lot of time building all these updates and so on. Um, that's actually moving pretty quick. And I, I've heard that this was sort of leaked, uh, which is why this being response, responded as fast as it now. And they've been kind of uh, under NDA telling other bigger customers how to work around this one. Uh, but I can't confirm that one personally. Uh, so a vulnerability was identified in Unity's runtime intent handling. You may be thinking, what's an intent handling? Well, intent handling is a system in Android only. It can, you can kind of almost think of it like, like a MIME type for applications. Uh, it's basically a way of saying, uh, or inter-application communications on Android platforms. You're thinking, well, why isn't this Android only? And the reality is, I don't know. Because uh, the description goes along, says, uh, vulnerability allows malicious intents to control command line arguments passed to Unity applications, enabling applications or attackers to load arbitrary shared libraries, SO, which is the Android or Linux equivalent of a DLL, uh, and execute malicious codes depending on the platform. In its default configuration, this vulnerability allows malicious applications installed on the same device to hijack permissions granted to Unity applications. In specific cases, the vulnerability could be exploited remotely to execute arbitrary code, although I did not investigate third-party Unity applications to find an app, the functionality required to enable this exploit. Uh, Unity has addressed this issue and updated all affected version, Unity versions starting with 2019.1, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then the technical details of exactly how this works are available here. Uh, so um, it's again, it is on Android using uh, this, this uh, attack scenario here. So you see uh, a malicious application installed on the same device could exploit this vulnerability. So you need to have an app on the device to do this one. Um, extracting the native library with the Android extract native libs attribute set to true. Uh, launch the Unity application with this uh, XRSDK pre-init library argument, passing it to the malicious library. And then the Unity application would then load and execute the malicious code. Yeah, that's that's bad. Uh, and you also could potentially do it via a browser vulnerability uh, if the app exports the Unity Player activity or Unity Player game activity with the Android intent category browsable category uh, flagged on their, their app, uh, in which case you could just basically run it via this command here. Uh, and then malicious websites could potentially cause an application to run it. Uh, and there are some limitations on what could be done, but those are the gists of it. You can see a demonstration of the exploit available here. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, this is Android only. Like, intents aren't on Windows or on Macs. So why are they covering this for all these other platforms? And again, I don't actually know, but I'm guessing that the method of exploit that is being used here this particular way was also applicable to all the other platforms. Because I can see here, Android, Linux, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux are all being addressed. So if you come on down here and you look at the platform specifics, you will find, again, Android is listed. Uh, so if your app was built using Unity 2017 or later uses the model 32-bit runtime, it may be vulnerable. But on Windows, on desktops like Windows, there are various ways to inject code, da 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 uh, You're uh, in this situation, your Unity app can be vulnerable to privilege escalations if it registered as a custom URL schema handler. Uh, registration can be form performed by your application uh, or by applications such as third-party game launchers or storefronts. So it looks like there is a, kind of a, a similar exploit on Windows uh, that you've got details of. And here, here are details on actually how to, to work around it and the patching process. Uh, and then in the Mac world, same deal, different different way of exploiting. So it looks like although this was initially exploited on Android using intents, uh, the same kind of concept of passing these DLLs into the Unity runtime uh, can work on Windows and Mac OS as well. So all the details here of how to work around it are there. Uh, Linux is less um, impacted, but there are some details there for Linux as well. So that is uh, the, the Unity article. I will have that in the linked article down below if you want to get more into the specifics. Uh, also, they have um, a forum discussion going on right now about 
uh, basically the uh, the details of this particular exploit here with a, an FAQ there. And then on top of that, they've also got details for the patcher tool. Uh, again, the one thing you're going to want to know with the patcher tool is if you are using some kind of anti-exploit or anti-tampering in your system, you're not going to be able to go this route. You're going to have to rebuild your binary and submit it back up to the store. So... Um, yeah, well, Unity did a good job on handling this one, but it, it seems like a very pervasive and dangerous thing. But it, it does sound good that the various different platforms are also part of the solution. So hopefully we won't see a whole bunch of Unity games, especially these older games that are unpatched on older machines, being used as an attack vector in the future. But I guess we shall see. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.